Hello, I'm Chef Yves Vacheres and I'm here today to show you how to do caramelized onions. We're going to be using Spanish onions. We have a wide variety of uh, different onions here. One of them is the Vidalia onion, which tends to be too sweet for caramelizing purposes. I will now show you how to cut the onion. You take the base off, you take that little brown part off as well, and then you cut the onion in half. Before you put the flat side down, you actually take the little uh, base off so that the slices will separate. Put this on the side, and then holding onto the onion with all fingers, uh, using your uh, first knuckle as a guide, you're just motioning the knife in this way to just go and slice your onion. As you go past the half point, you just put it on the flat side again, and then finish cutting it. So it's pretty simple. All of the uh, uh, pieces are coming off very easily. Uh, now we're going to cook it. Uh, to cook it, just preheat a pan, preferably a non-stick pan, so that you don't have to use quite as much oil. If butter is not a problem, I recommend using butter. I'm French after all, so you have to use butter, but not if it's not good for your health. Heat up the pan, and then as the pan is heated and the, the uh, oil is almost smoking, you just put your onion. What you should hear is a nice sizzle. Cooking is about feeling, it's about hearing, it's about smelling, it's about or involves all the senses. So we put our onions. We had a little bit more here. The more onions you put in the pan, the actual better it will come out to be. A little pinch of salt, omit the salt if you cannot have it. The salt helps the juices to come out. And then I'm putting a little bit of fresh thyme as well. So we are letting this cook until it becomes brown. Eventually it's going to, the, the juices are going to reduce and it's going to become caramelized. So this is how it looks like as it is on its way to caramelization, where it turns brown and as it's going to get darker, the liquids are going to come out and then we're gonna get that nice caramelization that is going to give us the flavor. This is what the final product looks like. You want them to be really soft. Uh, the softer, the more concentrated the flavor will be. A uh, little bit of fresh thyme on it. This is an incredibly versatile uh, dish. You can make it a day ahead, you can make it a week ahead. It keeps perfectly in the fridge. And also, you can use it in many dishes. You can put it on grilled fish, on grilled chicken. I put it here on this turkey wrap, which is a dish that will be featured on another episode of the Healthy Cooking Show.